What's up, y'all? This ain't Glizzy and this Barber Son TV. And today we got the Javante Davis fight, aka Shaq Glizzy stun the world, and Young Mo and this little Boosie story. So it's a lot going on here today. We're gonna start off like this. So everybody in the media been saying Shaq Glizzy and Aunt Glizzy allegedly spike drinks, all this nonsense. You know, the cancel culture been going on. So Javante Davis had a fight in town in D.C. at the arena that the uh, the basketball team, the Wizards, play, for, play at. So the whole city came, Baltimore, Philly, all the celebrities, the DMV is lit, everybody there, Meek Mills, they got Lil Baby in the building. Ain't nobody seen Shy Glizzy in a week since the allegations came out. Shy Glizzy pop out. Boom, we're going to start with Shy Glizzy. We see Shy pop out. Shy pop out walking Javante out to the fight. This the first time we ever seen Shy Glizzy since the allegations. Nobody know where he been at. He cut his comments off or nothing. So when he come out, it's like, oh, it was like a slap in the face. Like, oh, Shy still on. Shy looked as sweet. He did look sweet. But on the back side of things, I would have came out. See, me, I'm a clout chaser. I'm a marketing genius. I need to be shy marketing coach. Shy, like, get your team to DM me. I send y'all some notes on marketing. Just pay me on marketing. Because I would have came out with a, yeah, I spike cup. Yeah, I did it shirt. And I would have came out playing white girl. I would have walked them out to white girl with a, yeah, I did it shirt on. I would have been on every blog there is. I would have made CNN. You know, you, you know what it is, man. You got to go up. You want to go up, you got to go up. If you got the courage to whip out. On Bree, you got the courage to go up. I'm just saying, it ain't it ain't no rules in this. It's like get rich or die trying. But back to what I was saying. So Sha come out, he got on the mink, Joan. He looking like Frank Lucas. He got the mink on. I'm cool with the mink. It's cool. I don't really like it. He got the mink on with the turtleneck. He like the white power ranger. White power ranger just died a couple months ago. Like, shout out to, uh, I think his name was Tommy. He got the Tommy from the white rangers, power ranger Joan on. Then he got the turtleneck on like he, this little fucker like a, like he got this Joan from uh, Diggs. His man Diggs. He's on like a buffalo underarmor. Like one of them buffalo wide receiver underarmors on with the mink on. He was throwing me the fuck off. Then he come out. I'm like, okay. He's shot doing this thing. Everybody like, ooh, but I can tell y'all this one moment. I think I might be bigger than Shy Glizzy now. Like, no hating. Because think about this. When y'all seen Shy walk out at that fight, the first thing y'all thought about was me. Y'all ain't think about the fight. Y'all ain't think about nothing going on. As soon as y'all seen Shy Glizzy, like, as soon as y'all eyes hit Shy Glizzy walking to Javante Davis, so everybody was looking for Aunt Glizzy location. Where's Aunt at? I know y'all was. My mother called me about that. But let's get back to the story. So Sha come out. Sha going bald so bad. It's ridiculous. Sha's getting the, the, the Beijing's. He need a passport. He getting Beijing spray in his head. He getting the black spray on his head. Like they giving him the Lord John with the sh 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 with the shape up. Like he, he melting. He was walking out there. He was melting. Y'all ain't see it. So inside man. Y'all know I keep the inside man. So inside man go to the fight. Inside man go to. Inside man knew Sha was going to be at the fight. Y'all didn't know that. Inside man knew Sha was going to be there. So inside man right there at the audience when Sha first walk out. Soon as Sha walk out, like the walk Javante out, he over top of them like at the tunnel with the locker room pod. So when they first walk out, because he knows Sha can come out this door. Inside man knew this three days before. So when Sha walk out, inside man say, Sha, why you raper? And this was his answer. He shook his head, yeah. <laughs> hey, Blizzy, why you raper? <laughs> Like, he don't care. He like, oh, I can't, but he did it. He ain't need tripping no more. It's like, it is what it is. But, back to alopecia glizzy. Now he walking around, he melting, he get losing his hair, he doing all that, he going crazy. But before he even walked out, Shaq Glizzy was in a sticky situation that nobody knew. Showtime had the cameras in the back of the locker room before Sha walked out previous to the fight. He was in the room, the locker room with Javante before they walked out in the world seen him. Lil Baby was back there too because Lil Baby is Javante man. They locked in. So Lil Baby, Sha Glizzy, and Javante all end up in the back of the locker room together. But this is when the industry and all this get wild. Some of y'all miss, y'all understand. On Sha Glizzy's birthday, I seen a video of him on the microphone saying, Glizzy Gang, 4K trade. If you ain't Glizzy Gang, 4K trade, man, you ain't nothing. You getting stepped on all this in the third. Like basically, he 4K trade Glizzy Gang and this turn up against the world. Any of their ops can get it. I was like, oh. Shot told him this 4K tray. Young boy put him in this top five. They lit. I'm like, okay, Shaq, this is 4K tray. Okay. Lil Baby was in the locker room. And I remember young boy said, four, he said something. I don't know the exact words, but he was like, 4BF, baby, with it. That's 4BF. That's five holes. I just remember that. 
and this was Shaq as he faced. I think Shaq remember that. The perfect time. I think Shaq remember too. Soon as he thought about it, like, no baby, NBA young boy, I'm 4K Trey. And Shaq Lizzie made this face. This the face he made, look. No smoke, no smoke. Ain't going outside today. He want no trouble. Like, no trouble at all. He looking like little baby. <laughs> I swear I ain't 4K Trey. Can I get an autograph? Like, this would it look like to be a real rapper. Dang, I only got one chain. He got four. Dang, that's Jay the Way, the baby father. <laughs> Fanned out over there with his khakis on and his turtleneck over there going bald. Over there looking like Toy Lanes, man. I'm telling you. You know Toy Lanes should be selling the, the bald head brothers. Y'all convicted felons of, uh, Attempted a murder of a shape up. Because them motherfuckers, I'm telling you, premeditated. But let's get back to it. So back to the story. Shot in the locker room. He annoyed the little baby. Little baby got annoyed. He won't say nothing. He, I wish he would. He wouldn't go over there and say nothing about four. He wouldn't speak a 4K nothing over there. I love NBA young boy though. I love young boy Dirk and everybody. I'm just glad I ain't in the industry and I don't got to pick a side. I mess with them all. They all in my playlist. They all my rappers. I ain't around here screaming up nothing, nothing, nothing. But if I was anything, I'd be OZM. Since he wouldn't be 4K trait. He said he 4K Trey Dirk. I know you don't watch the YouTube, but everybody get this the Dirk. Dirk, I got a good resume. I'm the security guy for Top Dollar. You don't know these people. These are all DMV celebrities like my resume. I'm a good DMV. I done, I done security guy Top Dollar Sweezy. I security guy Shy Glizzy. I done pressed out Young Gleesh. I said Young Gleesh. I take that back. I done pressed out Fat Gleesh for niggas. I done got into it with Sosa. That wasn't even about nothing. That was some shaggers, you know what I'm saying? That wasn't even about nothing. But what I'm here to tell you is, bro, just give me a jacket, a chain. It only want no money, bro. Just let me ride around with Duty Low. We can do whatever, you know what I'm saying? Like, just put me in the car with Duty Low and we can show them what's really going on, bro. I feel like I can kick it with Duty Low, bro. I'm really like one of them. Like, I ain't from grandma's by 7220, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I would have kicked it on the porch with y'all. Yes, I would have been outside, but that's a whole nother story. It's OTF from screen. Gang, gang, gang. Sound the nigga. Brother. But back to what I was saying. So now we had to fight. It's going down. All this thing went on. Shaq Lizzy then came out the world going on everything. So now Meek Mill's at the fight. So I see Shaq Lizzy. I got a video of Shaq Lizzy yelling, hey, cuz, where you from? Where you from? Like he talking to somebody. I don't know who he talking to. But I see Meek Mills and all the dream chasers talking about some. We in DC, somebody in DC getting robbed tonight. Ah, everybody out DC getting robbed tonight. We ain't gonna lie, we got like a million on Richie. Let me see, let that Richie get in there too. Uh, so. What you mean? Like, I don't know. I'm driving slow. So, like, somebody told me it can mean something else. Somebody told me, like, you got to explain that, Meek. Like, please come clear this. What made it even weirder is when I said it and tag you, you deleted the answer story to make it even worse. So, like, like you knew something. That's like me going to Chicago. Like, man, Chicago already know I'm in Chicago with this. And I'm like, bro, I can't do that. Bro, you can't come here and do that. Like, I know you got a big ego and all that shit, but you hop out. Bro, you hop out on safari. I hop out and turn your block into a safari. You feel me? We two different type of guys. Don't ever do that. Don't disrespect us. We ain't got nothing against y'all, bro. Don't ever do that, bro. I mess with them Philly boys, man. Wilo, million dollars worth of game. I seen Wilo at the fight. Uh, giving out a million dollars worth of game. Hey, like, I, if I ever had a mentor, I want him to be my mentor. He talks some motivation. Shit, he be doing like this. Hold on, I got to stand up for a minute. Wilo be crushing him when he do this. He be like... I'm telling you, man, all you got to do, man, is believe in yourself. And ain't nobody else going to believe in you. When you're down to your hardest moments in the world, you just got to know, man, you can do it. And ain't nobody else can do it for you. Don't give up on nobody. Chase your dreams, young man. I'm telling you, I did all this time in the penitentiary. Nobody never told me I was going to come home and be great. You can be great. But brought to you by our sponsors. Just make sure you go get you some Roman swipes. Roman swipes, man, they're uh, they good for nice uh, inter uh, interactions with your girlfriend, man. Just swipe them right on. I'll be like, man, everything is up with the Roman swipes. He be crushing me with the Roman swipe commercials. But, yeah, that's my man. Man, man, shout out to you too, Gilly. I don't mean no harm, but bro, Gilly, you be smoking Reggie. Like they say, I be smoking Reggie, bro. I don't know what you be smoking, bro. You still smoking them old ass roll ups? Them those three, four dollar. Like, come on, bro, leave me alone. They keep saying I look like you, bro. I don't look like you. I look better than you, Gilly. That's <laughs> a new man in town. I'm the man around here. But let's get back to it. So they all in the fight. It's going down. Everything going on. But this is the kicker right here. Young Mo and Lil Boosie. Y'all ain't even peeped that. Young Mo been bid of the week. 
because young mo this week just been a crazy week like fetrail was at the fight with his girlfriend she over there looking like shanae she got the little ball head with the mocha chain and shoulder say we stick a dead animal on her i'm thinking buttercream buttercream croc like she was looking like a little crocodile in the face but we ain't gonna talk about that he right there happy to the behold like huh they had all from dragon tails and this girlfriend there that shit was beyond me so we gonna leave trail alone let's get back to mo so mo had to fight everybody the fight that been on bed two weeks my whole bed of the week team was there trail mo and shot so now when i see young mo a video boosie i seen the video of boosie first boosie look back and it was like it was like a girl and he was like dang in the comments, I was reading, it's like, dang, Boosie seen something he must have liked he couldn't get. Boosie seen a girl that was with his, that was with her dude, and I ain't know who the girl and dude was at the time. Kick that jump. Boosie was with his girl. I mean, uh, Boosie looked back and seen something he liked, like a girl, but he couldn't say nothing because she was with her dude. I didn't know who the dude was or who the girl was. I didn't know that. I just read the comments. They was like, Boosie seen something he liked and he couldn't say nothing. Do you know Boosie turned around? I seen another camera angle. Now I seen the camera angle behind him. I didn't know who was behind him. You know who was behind him? Young Mo and his baby mother who just got caught on camera with two jumps in her mouth. Like, he just got exposed for sword fighting, like touching swords. So when I seen the, the Young Mo angle, it's like, oh, Boosie was talking about Young Mo girl. He passed Young Mo girl a J. Why Young Mo was right there? Young Mo so much of a fan, he didn't even care. He so gone off the fan time. He didn't even see Boosie just play with him. Rub this girl leg, passed her a J and everything. But Boosie, you a real nigga. I mess with you. This ain't never putting you on bed TV, bro. Like out of all the rappers and the OTs, bro, I look up to you, bro. You're like a mentor. I respect you, bro. I will never disrespect Boosie. Even if you was to disrespect me, Boosie, I wouldn't disrespect you back just for the culture, bro. I real life grew up to you, bro. You feel me? Like you one of the ones. I put the respect on your name. I don't know about these other young niggas. They don't know what's going on out here. But I'm trying to hip you to something like Boosie, you a real life star, bro. Like, don't get caught up in this nonsense. I know she was cute and all that, and you smoking the J with her, but she just got caught with two jumps in her mouth. Like at the same time, her baby father and the escort, like they was doing anything. I'm just trying to pull you up, bro. Like you make mistakes. I just don't want you looking wild. Like smoke your J's to yourself, bro. You can go to this city and smoke a J with anybody in the world, bro. You can go to this city and smoke a J with anybody in the world, bro. Like, you could have smoked a J with anybody in the world. You just picked a girl this week. We found out she was, she had two jumps in the mouth. Her and her baby father would be playing a rock up. Escort with, they on the rock up. Buy, buy, buy things. Let's just say that. Like, nothing against that. I ain't got nothing against nobody, but he just be on the weird tip. So now let's get back to the story. I see Boosie pass a J to his girl. I'm like, oh, so that's who Boosie was talking about behind the Moso fan. Now we don't even see it. Boosie grabbed his girl leg and all that. I'm about to show y'all all this. Mo is clown of the year, like young Mo. When I put these videos together, you gonna see exactly what happened. And you be like, oh, I missed it. I wasn't even there and I seen it, bruh. Wake up. But what I'm here to tell y'all, this fight was crazy. This was this was a night. Like the city was lit. They had a fake brief intermission. This is the only city I know it's a fight on the side of a fight. They can't do nothing here. Like, and they talk about Meek Mills came here to choose Vines Meek. I'm gonna tell you one more time, and I don't mean no harm, brother. You come to D.C. and style one more thing. I'm talking about one more thing. You got one more chance because I like you. I remember you used to pop the willies. I remember I was even in the studio with you with Shaq Lizzy back in the day when y'all made that Heaven or Hell song. The fat dude was in the studio and he was in there singing the song. And like, you know what I'm saying? I was in the studio with you. You know what I'm saying? But don't let that go over your head. Like, don't come back here and think you can style no ruckus, bro. I'm the only one style ruckus here. You got my motion all off. Like, bro, I'm the one running the town. Now my town took 10 minutes off me because you want to sit right here and steal my spot. Like, bro, don't come here, Cloud Chase. You better do that shit in Philly, boy. 